Hey, what is up guys? Born by the Brick here doing another LEGO review. This time we will be reviewing Brainiac Attack. This set comes with uh, 179 pieces. Uh, set number 76040 uh, comes with Brainiac, Martian Manhunter, Supergirl, Sup and S Superman. Retails for $24.99. It comes with six or in uh, suggested ages for 6 to 12. Let's get this review started. So one of my least favorite figures to get in this set is Superman. We've all gotten Superman in, in a lot of sets. Man of Steel, uh, even the Lex Luthor one with Wonder Woman. Uh, pretty much he's regular run of the mill. He's a little bit different. Uh, they added kind of the red kind of a leg or um, belt piece that you connect the legs with. Uh, they put the belt above this part right here, so they kept it a little separate. Some muscle printing as well as the S logo. Uh, notable thing about this set that I'll continue to point out, they are using, Lego's using this new type of um, uh, leather, or not leather, but cloth, uh, much more loose, really um, more realistic cloth, and I really appreciate Lego doing that. Uh, in my opinion, it adds more quality to the product. Like, it feels more like a superhero kind of, uh, like a cape. So that's awesome, and I hope they continue doing this. Some back printing on the back right there. And then we'll check out the front face, which is kind of, like, neutral. And then on the back, you can see that there is, um, ready to charge up those lasers, you know? It's pretty mad. And of course, comes with this hair right here. Let's check out the next so one. So now we are focusing on Martian Manhunter. Uh, the reason that I put Martian Manhunter uh, before Brainiac in terms of like priority in this uh, minifig uh, checkout, it was solely for the fact that we have already received a Martian Manhunter figure in a poly bag, and so this is just kind of a somewhat newer version but more publicized version. And so this one is uh, pretty much Martian Manhunter. He has his belt right there. Uh, it's not printed on there. And so more new printing in the head as well. Um, fun fact about Martian Manhunter. Uh, Superman and Martian Manhunter are, in terms of backstory, are somewhat, or they have a similar story. Like, both are the last of their kind, quote-unquote. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it, and they were... Listen, pretty much Martian Manhunter uh, is also an alien, and has a similar backstory to Superman. Uh, so they also use this soft uh, cloth as well. And then you got some back printing on the back right there. I hope that they make a Martian Manhunter uh, mini, uh, big fig, that'd be pretty cool. And then we have this kind of... Uh, I think this is more of like uh, the original type of... Uh, um, cape or kind of cloth that they use from the older capes. If not, it's probably just a thicker version of this one because um, they needed prob something like thicker versus this cloth which would probably fall down and not stick up as easy. So that makes sense and it's good that they noticed that. Let's check out Brainiac. And so now we have our first Brainiac figure. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, probably my, actually <laughs> to be honest, it's Probably my least favorite next to Superman. And then he's just got regular black legs. Uh, kind of like he's, he's a robot or um, pretty much an artificial intelligent robot. And he pretty much takes whatever he needs or to increase his knowledge and make him like the ultimate like creature or being. So, I mean, I, I honestly feel like this, it's okay, but I don't feel like they put like they could have like made it more detailed is what I'm saying or made it more relevant I didn't find it like kind of this it's a little kind of all over the place is what I'm saying and so here is the front of his face right there he's got those three nose right there. and his face as well as this one right here So uh, this is my favorite character 
from this set. Um, not only is it very detailed, but it also is just like the best representation you could ever think of possible. Applaud to you, Lego, for making this awesome Supergirl figure. And so this is pretty cool because it has um, a skirt printing as well as like um, f uh, leg or shoe, kind of not shoe, but kind of boot printing as well. So it's uh, double uh, mold or not double mold, but um, dual printing. So that's really nice. And I like, like I said, keep improving the quality. I'm willing to pay out of pocket because it's awesome. You got the belt right there uh, showing like uh, these curves right here. You know, representing it as a female body, right, and it uses a similar cape, has blonde hair, I believe this is new, I may be wrong, you can quote me on that, and so you can check on the back, and you can see there's some printing right there, and let's check out the back, similar to, uh, what Superman had, she also has an kind of mad face and uh, pretty much kind of charging my laser, you know, but yeah, all right, and let's check out the rest of these, rest of this set, so the main feature of this set is Brainiac's, um, ship, uh, it's really, really nice, I can tell you that, uh, it's a really fun build, um, lots of play value in this set, right off the bat, got some flick fire missiles right over here, it's got this right here, and in addition to this, you receive a uh, super jumper, which I, my opinion, don't use this. If you like your, if you are a collector or someone who likes to keep their minifigs in uh, not scuffed or damaged, you might want to avoid this one and just keep it in the extra parts pile until Lego can find a way of making this more effective and less kind of damaging to the figures. Anyways, uh, what you do is that you're supposed to use a super jumper, connect any one of the superheroes, and knock it down like uh, so. So it's not fully connected, so it can just fall out. And so this is another one of the play features. And so it has tentacles right here. Uh, six in total. And then it has this face, brick-built face. Really, really nice, and it's awesome. And the skull, so that's cool too. And then on the back, it's got some propulsors right there. And if you pop this open like so, you can see that you can open this on the inside. See that there are two of these controls and then one of these right here. That is a sticker and then a little seat for Brainiac. And then as well as this side right here and this side, oops, sorry, this side are both stickers. So, a lot of stickers in this set, but I'd say it's well worth uh, the value of this uh, price and the figures. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this review. I'd really appreciate it. If you like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps me out. Uh, more videos on the way, and I plan on doing some giveaways in the future. So, stay tuned and keep subscribing. <laughs>